random or fixed effects model which one to use when performing meta analysis meta analysis is a statistical method that can be used by researcher to combine data or result extracted or collected from several independent uh, research uh, studies or clinical studies that addresses the same scientific or clinical research question. The objective of performing meta-analysis is to calculate the pooled uh, overall uh, estimate of the effect size that is measured whether it is a standardized mean difference or it is a correlation coefficient or it is an odds ratio or risk ratio or hazard ratio or even a proportion. The meta-analysis also will assess and examine heterogeneity between these uh, data from those several independent uh, studies and measure the level of uh, heterogeneity. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clips and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. So, when to use a random effect or effects model? Random effects models have certain assumptions. Uh, it assumes that there is heterogeneity, which means that these studies that included in the meta-analysis are not identical, i.e. they are heterogeneous. It does assume studies may be estimating different true effect size whether the estimated effect size is an odd ratio, risk ratio, mean difference, correlation, or proportion, then it assumes that there is a difference in the effect size. The model also assumes that the observed true effect size does vary between studies, and this variation is due to sampling error, which is within study variability or between study variability, which is heterogeneity and the effect sizes across studies. And a second assumption is that the studies are diverse, which means they are varying or they vary um, or there is variation in the methods used in the population structure in the intervention and the procedure performed and a third assumption is that the model can be used when there are substantial heterogeneity among the effect size of the included studies Random effect models that are in common use include some but not all the dear uh, Simonian, the layered inverse variance, the restricted maximum likelihood, the maximum likelihood, the empirical base, the Hunter Schmidt. Any of these uh, options can be selected when performing meta analysis and choosing a random effect model. Moving to the fixed effects model, 
the model assumes that there is homogeneity among the results from those several uh, studies. So the model assumes homogeneity, no variation, similarity across the studies. It assumes that all studies included in the meta-analysis are estimating the same true effect size. So it assumes that the variability observed in the effect size across the study is due to random sampling error and not due to genuine differences in the underlying effect. So this is one of the assumptions for performing fixed effects models on results from different studies. The second assumption is that there is limited variability between the studies which uh, in, indicate that the studies combined are similar in the method or methods used in the population and in the setting or the design of uh, the uh, clinical research studies. A third assumption is that there is a small number of studies. So when there are a small number of studies, then preferably fixed effect model is the uh, um, options to uh, select. So there are three different options to use from or method when performing a meta-analysis and selecting the fixed effect effects model. The first one is mantel hansel method. The second one is pitot pitot odds ratio when the outcome is binary and measured in odds ratio. A third one is the inverse variance. So when to use the fixed or random effect or effects model, if there is heterogeneity and the data are limited, then using random effect model is the first choice. Why random effect models weighs studies relatively more equally than fixed effect model. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data, whether it is um, um, quantitative or qualitative, and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here, whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python, then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.